Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amin Gecko, also known as Gary. Uh, right here what I'm looking at is actually a demo beta release. This was sent to me by the developers themselves. Uh, the developer is WRF Studios and uh, I was actually sent this demo. They actually asked me to take a look at it for the green light here. So let's take a look at the options menu and let's see pretty pretty normal expected thing for the options. Now this full screen option I don't get what's going on but I, it'll run in full screen on its own but when I fire up the screen capture it changes it for whatever reason. Uh, fully rebindable keys and since I like to use a weird keyboard layout I need to rebind these. Come on. And as I recall, that's about all I really need to worry about. Yeah, that's really everything. Okay, there's that. Uh, we go into advanced settings. Pretty, pretty basic setup. Can close that out. Uh, let's go ahead and start a new game and see what it's got. Okay, we've got creepy whispering in the background. Um, okay, so here we have our different classes going here. You can choose what type of breed you are, whether you're a vampire or a dampire. Uh, a vampire is you know, a full-fledged vampire. A dampire is a half vampire, half human. So basically like a vampire's child. Uh, you can choose your gender here, and you can kind of rotate the model around to kind of see what they look like. And you got uh, three different classes, I believe. I don't know if this is going to be all of them, but there's three different classes here in this demo. You have the warrior, the witch, and the criminal. I'm going to go with the warrior just because I like being a tanky bruiser guy. Uh, let's bump up the strength. You can add to different points here. Okay, there's all that. Uh, and as a vampire, I have no resistances to light, silver, and fire at all. So I'm, I see, switching over to it, uh, that resets everything. Um, and I'll just stick with a vampire because I like they're having the extra resistances. And so, okay then, and is there anything? And then of course, let's name him. Uh, let's name him after me. Why not? And then let's create the new character. Make sure to press F1 to save the game. That is the quick save button. Always nice to have. Okay, I do not know who this guy is. I'm not really even entirely sure what he's trying to do. It's Bloodlust Shadow Hunter. Some kind of snake head. Okay, he's a vampire. You can see that from the teeth. And... Okay, that was some sort of a fire trap there. And now we follow the bird. This is not a bad looking game, really. This was described to me as a low budget indie title. So, oh, I just saw part of a face there. Okay, bird, what are you doing?
but with each new flood mark, he would grow stronger. Meet me at the tattoo shop back in town. I will explain everything there. I've asked Varric to watch your wound through these long months. Seek him out should you need any guidance from the rooms. Okay, and that would be the intro. Uh, let's see, tutorial mode. I'm going to turn that off because it'll just get in the way. Alright, so here I am. A fledgling vampire with my flashlight and a knife of some description. So let's make our way out of the tomb. And, uh, oh, here's somebody here. Farrakh. Fledgling. Was your sleep. Okay. Uh, welcome, Fledgling. How's your. S okay, his lips are sewn shut. How could you. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. How are you talking to me? You're not even opening your mouth! I see, you are a little confused now. Quite normal in these circumstances. Side effects from the bite, perhaps. Uh, any chance you need to know what I need to do? Okay, thanks for the help. Um, okay, let's see if we can find... Sarah. Well, nope. She's not that way. Uh, let's see, map, map, that was M in the menu, yeah. Okay. So. I need to go talk with the ancient statue, which the opening for that appears to be this way. Oh, wait. Hey, who's this guy? Oh, wait, I think I can bite him. Whoop, I have to get in close, though. Oh wait, it's it's uh one. That's right. Here we go. You can bite victims. You can feed off of them. And there we go. I now have Walter. There's a secret area in there, but I'm not ready to fight that person. I have played th through this before, if you can't tell. Now, if there's really one thing I need to say needs to be fixed, it's this part right here. You enter the gate, and you come back out, fixing the gate. Ugh. Sorry about that, let me try that again. You step out of the gate, and you come back out, you're on the other side of the gate, but you're still facing the same gate that you just came out of. If they could just fix it so that you're just simply facing the other way from the starters, that would be great. Let's open the door, and let's go in here and talk to Sarah. You must be the new fledgling, huh? Brock mentioned you, but don't get any ideas about trading here. This is not some local grocery store, you know. This trade shop is set up strictly for excavators, with the ruins through an agreement with my group's leader. However, I am in need of some wolf fur. I probably shouldn't, but if you can find some fur, I might make an exception for you. Uh, let's see if we can persuade a few lockpicks. Haha, uh -huh, it worked! In the courtyard area. Come back when you have found some wolf fur, huh? Sure. Okay, time to demonstrate the attack systems of this. Behold, Walter's awake! Uh, a very creepy voice. Okay, um... Uh, I, uh wait, I want find loot. Wait, what's it say on the feeding? Look for new blood. Bums are very slow and probably not really stealthy enough to sire new victims. You're probably right, that would probably get him killed. Okay, find loot. Because loot is awesome. I like it. Alright, let's make our way around. 
over here. Whoa, what? Is it? Oh, it's a wolf! Great, I've been looking for one of you. Aha, there we go. And did it drop anything? Yes, it did. It picked up. Where is that at? Uh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, hush. Frame rates. Okay, it's just because I'm trying to do the video recording as well. Ow. What was that? It just attacked me. I don't see anything. Okay then, let's let's move on back out here. Again, facing the doorway we just came out of, that doesn't exactly work right. Did you find some blood wolf fur? If the quality sort of helped me out, I suppose I could let you shop in my store if you want. Okay, I have five dollars and some lock picks. Not very much. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, now that it is griping at me that my graphics card is too puny for this, I think I may have to just wrap things up as they sit right now because it's... Yeah, the frame rate's just tanking something terrible here. Okay, well, yeah, I definitely think it's certainly got some strong potential. Uh, there's definitely hidden areas around here. I know that there's one there. Uh, there's some other areas that I haven't explored, either in this video or in other games. Um, I th certainly think it's solid. Now, this is... mechanics are solid. It's... beta is beta, so there animation issues and other small things. I've there are some problems with them, but I'm going to let those slide because, like I just said, beta is beta, and this is just a demo. So, yeah, I, I definitely think that this is worth a shot. So, head on over to the green light and give it an upvote. I'll, I'll put a link in the description for you. And thanks for your time. If you like what the channel's doing, uh, feel free to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.